Okay, does it at least go away when we die? Please tell me that's at least a thing. <laughs> Death by fire. It's still there. How do I get rid of this guy? Get off me. Guys, TBF Gaming, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark Survival Evolved. We're playing Not So Vanilla Valgero. We're jumping straight into things like usual today. Uh, no base tours or anything today. We want to run out and actually do a little bit of leveling. We got Thylocolios in the last episode, and I didn't get a chance to take him out. These are one of my favorite dinos, so it's time to take this guy out for sure. Have a little bit of fun with him. Uh, this is Logan. We've got a whole bunch more. Okay, I lied. We're, we're going to show you the base stuff real quick because I actually need water. Let's go get some more water real quick, and then I'll just show you. What we've got going on with our awesome breeding program over there, as usual, it's absolutely crazy. All right, let's take a drink of that. Let's throw in this one and take it back. There we go. We're doing amazing. We got all the water. We got to make sure we fill up before we go because we are wearing like some pretty high level flak, which means we dehydrate a lot. But I'll just show you this really quick and then we'll run out. These are the sabers that we're breeding right now, trying to get some more blue ones over here. That's kind of our blue team. And then over here, we've got our, what, what color are we doing here? Uh, I think you guys are just stragglers, but we're doing a purple team over here. Got these really awesome purple sabers. Check this out. I'm hoping for more of this one. I don't like that all brown mane, but I love like the whitish. It's really cool looking. And then over here, we got Team Red. What's up, Team Red? Doing your thing, right? Making babies? Yep. Velanosaurs. We're just doing those guys for levels. I don't really care what their colors look like, although they do have like almost kind of like a Denver Bronco blue and orange, which is awesome. And then I think that, oh, and then the Baryonyx. Every, everybody's up over level 200 finally. And this is after not being able to find a good level Baryonyx down in the Aberration Zone. We've been able to slowly breed them up to where they're over level 200 now. So there we go. All over level 200. So we'll be going back to a couple of the caves with these guys very soon. And maybe just down to the water area. You can actually shoot off these guys back. Something we didn't know about. So we're, we're really excited to actually take them out. And then down below we've got a couple things going on down here too. Uh, those guys are just hanging out because they don't have a female yet. And then the Thylacolas are making some babies too to see if we get any cool ones out of that. Just letting them do their thing for a while. All right, let's head out. No other changes around base or building or anything like that, but it's time to jump on the Thylacolio, go eat some things, maybe climb a little. You know that the Valgaro map is a great place for Thylacolios because there's just so many cool places to climb and do all kinds of things. Now, what's kind of cool right now is I think we're the only one on the server. We actually stayed up for many, many hours yesterday setting up a new server. We're actually opening up a new TVFG patron server on Crystal Isles, a map I've never played on before. I'm really excited to start a new series over there, but we got things to do here first. So it's not quite time to go over there yet. Oh, what is that? That guy's hanging out through the wall. Now, there's still some event dinos. Like I said, I think I said it before, but I thought they got rid of the event, but I'm still seeing event dinos here and there. All right, let's go this way. How many levels do you have? You got a couple ready. You know what we should have done is took out one of the guys that's got like a million levels, but that's okay. I figure we can level this guy. I can do a little bit of leveling myself, and hopefully get closer to level 96 that's what we're really trying to reach we're at level let's see he's 234 i'm level 94 about halfway to 95 and in order to get the shocking trait darts the kind of the main thing i'm going after some of their stuff's cool too but the main thing level 96 gives us a shocking trait darts 95 i'm not even sure what, what's all there i don't know nothing i really care about and then what's that riot gear and the rest of the stuff i'm not too concerned with the biggest one that I'm concerned with is those shocking train darts, just to help me with taming all the things on the map. That's kind of what we're looking for. All right, let's go out this way. We will look for a couple things to tame. Thylacolos are kind of awesome because you can shoot off their back, just like so. Uh, not that I can do it because we're so bad at driving these things. But it's not too bad. We're kind of figuring it out. If you hold the W button and then you just do the, what is it, the A and the D, you can kind of turn while you're driving. It's not great, but I'm getting better at it. So I figured maybe we could try taming something from the Thylacolios back. I don't know. We'll have to see what we can do. All right, let's keep heading out this way. Let's see. We went to the snow biome last time. We went to the, re the redwoods before that. So I think we're just going to go through the center area. Kind of see what's out in the middle over here. There are lots of griffins, and there is a giga over here. we got to be a little bit careful. Definitely don't want to go get into it with a giga right now. There we go. Uh, as we're heading out here, before I forget, we're already way into the episode, but... If you guys enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps us out. It does actually mean the world to us. 
We do notice when we get the really good ratios on likes. It means a lot. Uh, and then subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment down below. All that kind of stuff. Uh, you should be looking forward later in the week. We, we will have our first episode on that Crystal Isles map. I'm not going to jump fully into it right away. It's going to be kind of like a, a once or twice. We'll see how the series goes. And then we'll start increasing the episodes there. But it's a pretty heavily modded server. Probably the most mods I've ever done on one playthrough. And I'm kind of excited for it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, let's get our spyglass out. What's coming? I just don't want to get surprised by the Giga. This is a Giga zone out here somewhere. There we go. Oh, we're not doing too bad of damage. Look at that. It's not bad at all. Okay, I can't see anything. I assume we're hitting. Oh, man. Oh, dang. Taking all kinds of abuse. There we go. Man, these Thylacolos, they have amazing damage as you start to level them up. It's already pretty good damage right there. There we go. I'm not great at the climbing on these guys, but they seem to work really well on this map. All right, let's keep going this way. Yeah, I don't see the Giga. Oh, there's an all red saber there. Now all of our sabers are, oh my God, that's 130. Hold on, passive. Can we do this? Hold on, there we go. There we go. Come on. Trying to get your attention, guys. We'll, we'll hit the bird if we have to. Not really something I care about. Look at that. Colors, though. As we miss again. There we go. Got your attention now. Got him. No, no, no. Stop it, bird. Don't, don't mess up the tame. There we go. The bird will take off right away. We don't care about him. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Tank him, Thylacoleo. Oh, dang. Okay, turn, turn, turn. See, we're getting it. Oh, well, maybe not. Uh, can I hit him in the tail right here? We cannot. All right, come on. No, come back, dude. I'm not that good of a shot. You got to hold still just a little bit for me. Okay. All right, all right. We got this. There we go. He's almost going down, guys. Hold on. Come on. That's right. Come get me. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Yeah. There we go. All right. Let's throw some mutton on this guy. Oh, my God. Look at the colors. Is that blue? I can't tell if it's a blue or a purple, but the red is super vibrant. That'll fit in amazingly into our breeding lines. And I'm really proud of our breeding line that it's all, you know, natural mutation. Or not natural, but it's all mutations. We've got all kinds of different colors that we've worked in there slowly over time. Uh, but I would much rather... <laughs> Just have the re red ready to go. That'd be pretty amazing. All right. I promise not to forget you. We're going to go. Let's go. We, we went to the Redwood already. We don't go to this area very often. Let's go. You know, we've never been up there. I'm trying to figure out which, which one would be a good one to go. You know what? Let's go. Gosh, there's so many different things here. We haven't been out of the Aberration in a minute. We could definitely do that. Gas veins. Tundra. Taming trap. We've been to the Tundra quite a bit. Cat's base I actually haven't seen. Let's go to Cat's base. Let's see what's going on out there. Uh, it's only going to take two mutton for this guy to feed up, so hopefully we'll remember to come back here in just a second. We'll go check out Cat's base. I'm sure it'll take just a minute to load in. Oh, everything looks crazy. All right, let's put the spyglass away. Oh, my God. Look at that spino. Good job, Cat. Holy cow. Very cool. Oh, we got some levels on our guy here. Let's go melee like crazy. And then we'll do some other stuff in a minute. All right, gotcha, hanging out. Some crazy colored sheeps, of course. She gets so lucky with all the blue mutations. Look at these guys. Got some really cool looking bears. A couple of griffins up top. Oh, this is a cool area. I like this area up here, right next to the water. Where are we at on the map? Oh, we're way down here. I don't even know if I've been back here, really. Can I climb those rocks? Let's go cliff climbing with the thylacoda. That's kind of the whole point of having these guys. Oh, wow. I didn't even see these guys. All the yellow fins. Nice. Very, very, very nice. That's a cool little spot. Let's go do some climbing and see what we can get into up here. I love thylacos. These guys are so much fun. I don't know that we can climb up this kind of stuff, but we'll try. There we go. Oh, come on. Grab on. There you go. No, no, grab on, dude. Don't fall. 
Oh, he made it all the way up. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. Can you imagine building like a little PvP base up here? That would definitely be doable, right? Kind of hiding underneath this. This might be an amazing spot. Look at this. Oh man, I'm into this. This is cool. You have to be really compact with it, but I think you could do some things up here. Oh my goodness. Look at this. There you go. There's why we play this map. This is why this map is amazing. Look at that. The view. We could definitely build a little base up here. We might do that. That might be something we actually work on. I thought about doing a couple little out bases all around the place. We haven't really got into it. All right. You guys take fall damage? I don't know. Uh, barely. Okay. Not too bad at all. Oh, we got aloes. What level are you? A 150 Listro. I thought it was an aloe that was 150. You're killing the perfect tame Listro. How dare you? There we go. Come on. Oh, are we getting hit with a rock? Oh, rock golem. Come on. Finish this guy and run. Okay, run. Run. Don't fight the rock golem. Oh, no. There you go. We, we were gnashed. We couldn't move. Oh, Jabo is my bad. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, here. Oh, another rock golem. A 135 rock elemental. And he's got the chalk hills look on him. Very, very cool. Oh, Deinonychus City back here. There we go. Oh, super amazing. Are we getting hit or are we just bleeding? These guys can stack bleed damage. And wow, rock golems everywhere down here. Okay. Be very, very careful in this area. Just kind of jump over everything. We might grab a couple nests. I'm, I'm not really looking for Deinonychus eggs anymore. We kind of did like our little breeding thing with these guys. Didn't really get too lucky with getting very high level ones. Oh, there's a 140 though, which means there's a 140 egg here somewhere. Uh, we're going to have to go heal up after all this. That stacking bleed damage is brutal. Alright. Come on, guys. Come get some. Let's go. Finish him. Look at that. See how many stacking bleeding damages we have? Absolutely crazy. Alright. Let's go ahead and grab that guy. Level 95. Meh. Like I said, we definitely don't need this. It's not like we're going to hatch these anytime soon. I figured I'd just run through here. I love exploring on a Thylacolio. Like, th this is something that you should probably tame a little earlier so you can really explore the map with these guys. It's so much fun. And I've never bred these guys really far out for vanilla ones. I think it'd be a lot of fun to breed these guys out. Start getting some really cool mutations. There we go. Alright, very, very cool. We're going to have to think about doing a rock elemental too. It's not something I've actually worked on uh, in forever. So maybe we should go to the swamp and look at a Paraceratherium. Or right there. In fact, and see how hard they are to tame. There we go. What level are you? Level 20? Can't get much worse. Alright, let's just kind of cruise through here. We'll see if we see a better one. Man. Oh, let's see, let's see. I'm going to just kind of head this way a little bit. I'll bring you guys back when we find something cool. Or if we get lost in the scenery somewhere. All right, so it's been awesome to actually explore over here on a ground guy still so you can really see what's down here, but at the same time be able to get around like the Thylacolio can. These guys might be my favorite dino for Valgero just for the fact that they can traverse everywhere. This has been a lot of fun going through some of these areas that I really haven't been through in a long time. I'm actually really impressed with just this map, which I've been playing on it for a while now, almost a year, so I'm actually really impressed with it. Let's continue down, down this way. I'm looking for a pair of Sarathurium. I can't find a... Good level. Every single one of them has been a level 20. Uh, I did ask in Discord a couple people that I know have tamed one. And they... Oh my god, what is that? Oh, look at that place. Oh, that deserves visiting. What is that? Uh, yeah, we definitely asked in Discord like where, where to tame them. And they, they all said swamp. So we're going to head to the swamp area. Uh, which you know is never a safe place to go. How do I get over there? Let's go to this base real quick. And then we're going to break camera go to the swamp. And see if we can get ourselves a Paraceratherium. And then we'll go back and check on that saber, which should definitely be tamed up by the time we get there. Oh, look at this epic place. Whose base is this? Oh, man, whoever's base this is, absolutely epic looking. Let's go check it out. I don't think... Oh, we can probably get in. Oh, be careful, though. We might get stuck in there. Hold on. Don't fall in. Oh, I love these little cubicles. 
Oh, all the got all the let's see, two, four, six, eight, all but two of the artifacts. Absolutely awesome. Or two or three. Hold on, do you got third one over there? Yeah, it looks like they got two, four, six, eight artifacts. I don't think there's any duplicates. Very, very cool. I love this design. This is an awesome design. Very, very cool. Man, super impressed. Uh who's whose is this? Uh Prame Faya. I don't know whose base this is. It's amazing though. Whoever's base this is on the server, good job. I'll take a picture and send it in Discord and ask who's it is. Uh, but definitely impressed with that one. Oh, look at that aloe down there. Nope, focus. All right, guys, let's head to the swamp. We're going to find ourselves a Paraceratherium. That way, in the next couple episodes, we can go for our first ever rock golem. First ever. I've never even tried it before. I'm actually kind of excited. Or maybe, sh or should we do the taming method that's like a, that you do for the crabs, the Carquinos? Maybe it's the same kind of taming method that would be the best way. I don't know. Let's head that way. We got sidetracked again. Someone built a base inside of here. I think this belongs to lettuce. Let me see. Yep, O'Doyle's rules. This this is deeply lettuce's base. You guys want to check out his playthrough? He's got a playthrough on YouTube as well. Oh, don't go down there. He's got a looks like a tech shield or some kind of shield down there. That's really cool looking. Is it a shield? No, no, it's not. Just some kind of weird glowy aura. What is that? I don't know, but we're getting stuck on everything. Oh, that's not good. No, oh, no. Okay, hold on. We are 100% stuck. There we go. Can I get up through here? Let's kind of check this base out. Look at this base. What is the blue aura? I really don't know. Nope. Tech generator, maybe? It's something pretty cool. I don't know. Really, really cool, though. I like this. There's a cool little spot back here in the middle. Look at all this room. This is like the path through. Okay. Oh, wow. He's got a like a perfect tame Paraceratherium. And one of these guys that I don't know what they are. The little air breather guy. The oxygen guy. Very cool, man. All right. Okay. To the swamp. To the swamp. Let's go. I right, went ahead and teleported out here. I didn't really know which way to get out here. So this is the quickest way to get to the swamp that I know of. We're actually up at the swamp cave. We'll just kind of head down this way. And then we'll jump off here. This is like a good spot. We don't take too much fall damage, so we can just kamikaze off here. Let's do it. There we go. Make sure we're doing the little jump thing. I think, now, if you do this little jump thing where it's like grabbing, does that help you take less damage? I don't think that's a thing. I don't indeed know. Oh, no, we took some damage on that one. Oh, man. Okay, we need to see what's down here. We got snakes okay yeah see they want to come to us they just got to get through all this stuff down here look at that and they're all every single one of them wants me <laughs> they want me all right let's go let's go check this out we've got a 95 that's not bad that'd be doable all right what level are you 55 i'm actually okay with a little bit lower level one because we're just going to use it as a Oh, is this like a red Sarko? If you were a little bit higher level, man, we would stop to tame you, too. Let's kind of look ahead. All right, 15. No. Eat the snakes. Yeah, level 15, but he's got like a reddish tint. That's kind of cool. Now, the only way that I'll get anything under level 50 would be if it's all blue. All right, nothing there. The 55 might be okay. How many? How much do these guys take in terms of food? Oh, man. Wait, do they give us torpor? A little bit. Dang, we gotta be careful. Alright, 95. So he would take 32 base veggies or 4 superior kibble. So if we go make kibble, we might be able to do that. Right, let's get some food. Alright, let's check on a couple more of these guys up here. And then we're gonna go for one of these. Parasite Ethereum wouldn't be too bad. No cool colors. There's one more up here. Yeah, the swamp's the right place for them, so the swamp has them everywhere. Level 50. Okay, way up there. Eat the snakes. All snakes must die. There we go. Level 20, no way. Oh, wow. 
There's some stuff going on over here. Oh, wow. Look at all that. Let's break up this party. Ready? Get in there. Do it. Oh, that's a 135 Paris My bad. It's too late. We're already committed. No turning back now. Oh, my God. That was a bad idea. Okay, we can still we can still abort. There we go. There we go. We got some good XP. We got a little bit of prime meat. And we found a 135 Paraceratherium. Alright. We're just kind of eat our way through the trees. There we go. I'm sure this is riveting television. All you can see is a bunch of trees. Alright. I think we're good. Let's go see if this guy is still aggroed. And then we're going to go ahead and tame him up. And we're hurting a little bit health-wise. Oh, no. We have a leech. Hold on. Hold on. Disaster's abounding. There's a... Oh, it's on us. Wait, how do I get it? rid of it? Okay, come on. Eat these guys. Okay. Let's teleport back to base, because I think I have to go get, like, on a... A fire or something like that used to be the way to get rid of these guys right on my screen man dang it all right you don't have one do you do you have one on you let's see behavior I don't see anything about it I think it's just us all right, if I go step on the fire okay I can't do that where's an actual campfire I may not have one. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get some wood on here. I don't know. We've not done this in a long time. I, I don't remember. Let's see. One, two, three. Like so. There we go. Come on. Let me up. Can I not? There we go. Oh, uh, it's not working. Okay. That's not working. How do I get rid of this guy? I don't really know. Make a campfire. Go like that. And then let's steal the wood off of here and we'll try it this way. I don't know. If, if I'm doing this wrong, let me know. I feel like I'm doing it the way that I remember doing it back in the day. Hmm. We're just going to die. Okay, does it at least go away when we die? Please tell me that's at least a thing. <laughs> Death by fire. It's still there. How do I get rid of this guy? Get off me. All right, so we did it twice more. Also, we have a leech. Let's go hold to remove leech. We got one on the creature as well. There we go. Should be good. All right, yeah, we died twice to get rid of it. I don't really don't know what I was doing wrong or if it was just a graphic problem. I'm not really sure. Let's go back to the beach and see which one of those guys we can get a hold of now. Let's go drop all that. All right, and then let's gear back up and get back out there. There we go. Perfect. Let's do it. All right, I'll see you guys out there. All right, I know he's hard to see in here, but we found the winner for sure. Let's go ahead and get our darts out. All right, use this. And he's got 11,000 Torbors. This will take a minute. There are Capros and everything else bad in the area. But it doesn't look like Capros and stuff like that attack these guys. So I don't think I'm worried about that. I'm just worried about him attacking me just a little bit. But this guy's getting stuck in all the trees. So this is actually going really well so far. Although last time I said that, we got attacked by a Thylo. Yep. There we go. Let's see if we can circle around. Bam. There we go. Perfect, man. Let's do this. Let's see if I can get you up on this hill over here. And we missed. The One of the biggest creatures in the game, and we missed. There you go. Five. How much damage do you do? 25? Not even Not even worried about you. We're just going to tank you. Tank him, Thylacolio. You got this. Oh, we got another one in the mix, though. 7,000. There you go. Should push to eight. Okay, we gotta be a little careful. <laughs> we... Hold on, let's get turned around. Okay, 
Are we good? This is a good spot. Check this out. Oh, these guys. Look at that face. 8,000. There we go. Should push just over 9. Should hit 10. Alright. There we go. We have all of them over here. Okay. See if we can maneuver through the trees here. Alright. Is it that guy? It is. Oh, we hit the wrong one. Dang it. Okay. Oh, we need to hit him. He's so close. He's down. He's down. Okay. Hold on. Put that away. Finish these guys off. Oh, we are really low health. We're going to have to go take this guy back to base. There we go. Almost done. Almost done. Come on. Finish him. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's do this. We're going to be crazy about this. We're going to take him back inside base. And then we need superior kibble. Let me see if I can make some superior kibble. And then we'll head back out. If I can't, we'll head out to O-Dog's base and check that out real quick. All right. We're going for the assist from O-Dog once again. See if he's got some of the superior kibble in here. Superior. He does. Yes. I'm going to take like four or five of that. And let's teleport back. Should be good to go. What we did is we went ahead and teleported out to the swamp. And then now we can do last remote location. Throw some food on this guy. And then we're going to use the kind of cheaty method of teleporting out of the area and not being anywhere near him. Uh, because there is a capro out here that's making me super nervous. I don't know where he's at. So let's do this quickly. Here we go. Take all of the kibble. All of the kibble. And some berries just in case. And we're out. I'm out. Oh, he's eating fast. Look at that. 26%. Very cool. All right, guys. We'll be back. Oh, snake coming. Yep. Let's get out of here. All right. I'll be back in a few minutes to check on that guy. Oh, man. We got really good timing. We just teleported back, and we're getting attacked. Where's our new friend? Hold on. Uh, there he is. There we go. We getting attacked or anything? I don't think so. Oh, Capro. Capro. There we go. Get rid of that guy really quickly. Okay, where are you going, dude? Okay, stop it. Okay. Any problems? I think we're good. All right, let's send you back to base. Now, we went ahead and got ourselves like so. I do want to level him up. So what we want to do, because we want to get some speed going on this guy. So I've got the platform saddle, but we also have an ascendant level saddle, which we're going to use on him now. Like that. There we go. So we can do some real battling on this guy. Oh, they gather too. I forgot about that. Look at this giant, man. There we go. There we go. Just kick everybody's butt. Oh, man. He's not dead yet. Hold on. Come on. Finish him off. There you go. Oh, what are we getting hit by now? Everything's attacking us. Disasters everywhere. There we go. Come on. Finish him. Morphodons, whatever that guy's called. Demetrodon. There we go. Almost done. What levels is this guy? Is he like super high level? No. He just got some really good, uh, really good hit points. All right. Now what we want to do with this guy is I want to go ahead and work on his speed. We could probably get another one and mate them together and actually get a bigger speed bonus just from a baby. Maybe that's a good idea. I don't know. We'll see. But the, the goal is to get this guy leveled up pretty good and then use him as a platform saddle. Though. So that's what we're going to do for the next episode. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of play around with this guy for a minute. Get ourselves just a little bit of good things here. What are we hitting? Oh, fish. Right? All right. We're doing okay. And we've already got eight levels. We'll do melee because that will help us level up everything else. All right, guys, we went ahead and tamed up a second one. We have a male-female combo, so they're making a baby right now. Hopefully, we'll get a uh, little baby Parasitotherium here in just a few minutes. Uh, it was only a 120, so it tamed out to like 179. Not too bad. Uh, so we'll have that one up in a few minutes, and then we'll have a little baby Parasitotherium. And then we can start working on getting one that's got a little bit of speed on it and take it out and actually use it to do a little bit of 
maybe either rock golem or crab taming because I know you should be able to do that I don't know if it's still a good idea or not but we're gonna try it out we've got tons of babies I'm gonna do this in between episodes because I've done this almost every episode we don't need to keep doing it with you guys but look at how many babies we have to deal with uh, it's gonna be kind of ridiculous amounts let's see how bad it is here Wow and wow okay that is a lot of baby savers let's see how many actually came out so six times one two three I'm sorry one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so 60 minus one so 59 59 baby savers I did shut them off so they're not breeding anymore uh, that's been going over about the last 24 hours or so it's not too bad and then these guys should have gave us quite a few eggs let's check on our eggs uh, our egg situation is amazing let's go ahead and drop all the eggs and I'm gonna hatch all these guys in between episodes too. There you go. All the babies. Oh no. Are you out again? Oh no. Hold on. Oh no. Will they still get picked up or am I, about, am I just gonna have a base disaster forever now? Oh, mistakes were made. Okay, I got some base cleanup to do. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, leave a comment down below. All that kind of stuff. I definitely appreciate it. Hopefully we'll see a baby Paraceratherium here in a few minutes. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next episode.